Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video I'm going to be going over my 3 pound combat robot Vectors matches at the Central Illinois Robotics Club Bot Brawl 2019. The robot performed quite well and so I ended up having a lot of matches. Now before we get started I'd like to take a few moments to give a shout out to the Central Illinois Robotics Club for hosting Bot Brawl and for Ignite Peoria for allowing them to come back every year. It was a wonderful event and I'm looking forward to coming back in the future. The other person I'd like to give a shout out to is Ricky, uh, also known as Warwick STL, for hosting the stream. He did a wonderful job, and a lot of the footage is actually uh, from his stream. Uh, there'll be links for both groups in the uh, description. Please check them out. So my first match is against Space Ninja, a large diameter vertical spinner. Now, Three, I'd scoped out the competition two, on Builder's one, database, and go. this is really the only one that I was really worried about, because I was afraid that he would bend my panel to the point where I wouldn't be able to move around or anything like that. And right off the bat, he gets a couple of pretty big hits in, but uh, I'm still driving around good, because all the bending is on the top, so no big deal, right? Um, in that first exchange, I think I damaged one of his wheels, and I bent the side of his verticals pretty good you can see right there um, it's more visible in another shot here in a second and uh, things are going pretty good I'm trying to uh, see if I can't oh, get a good shot you. and oh crap now I'm upside down that's not good uh, so that bend that he caused in the beginning my wheels are off the ground so I can't really move but I'd also hit one of his wheels you see that bend right there and because I had hit one of his wheels, he couldn't really drive either. So now it's a fight of cripples. And thankfully, I'd had some driving practice the day before. So I discovered that if I throttle up and down, it'll scoot me a little bit. And I was able to crab walk across the arena and continue pushing the offensive. Uh, at this point, I'm just hoping I can get his drive knocked out. And, you know, now it's starting to move towards the pit, which I'm terrified of. And I seem, his drive yeah, seemed to have freed up, so, to the pit, you know, now I'm Maybe just hoping the clock in. will run out. Because I really don't Five, want to go in the pit. Four, three, two, one, and that's it. Stop, robot, stop. And so Vector won by a judge's decision. In my next match, I face up against a D2 kit called Chunky Monkey. Now, this is my first match ever against the D2 kit. And so it was a bit of a learning experience for me. I'm used to running undercutters, and uh, with an undercutter, you want to run into a wedge as hard as you can in hopes that you'll deform that bottom edge, and then you'll always win the wedge game. Well, Vector is a mid cutter, and with the mid cutter, what kept happening is I would ride up on top of him, and then he'd slam me into the wall. So it's not really desirable, so I start hitting him a little softer, just kind of bumping into him, hoping I'll catch a wheel or something. And then he starts spinning for no reason. I'm like, well, okay, I'll take a free hit. That sounds good to me. And so, you know, I hit him a couple of times, you know, get a, you know, halfway decent one in there. But I'm still kind of having trouble with that wedge. Then he shoves me in the corner, and I really don't want to be in the corner because that's too close to the pit. So I back away, and he clips into the wall, and I take a wheel away which, awesome. So I'm like, well, I guess I'll go in the corner and get another one. You know, I like taking wheels off. So I throw him across the arena, and then I get this really dumb idea that I can push him, which works exactly as well as you would think it would. So I get one more good hit in there, and then I back into him, right up on his wedge, and into the bag. So that stung a little bit. Now I'm in the loser's bracket. But, you know, all's not lost. I can still claw my way out of this. My next match is against Dumpster. And uh, it's some kind of RC car that got into a fight with a hot glue gun. Um, their first match, they got wrecked pretty bad. And they actually told me that they were going to drop out. But then they decided to put it in last minute. So I gave them a warning. If they didn't uh, tap out, I was going to hit them. And so I start hitting them. 
take the wheel off and then the pit opens I'm like oh crap the pit I think I'll hit him from this side now and uh, yeah I hit him from this side again see if I can fully mobilize them and there we go so that match was short and sweet and kind of a gimme but uh, fun nonetheless so with my first couple matches out of the way I'm not really happy with the way the drive is performing um, it seemed kind of sluggish to me and it wasn't that way in testing and I thought that there was a problem with the bottom panel being a little bit warped um, I wasn't able to straighten it out with the small vise I have so I decided to replace it. What I found out a little bit later is that it wasn't that panel. It was actually the antenna on my receiver was had come loose. And once I hot glued the antenna in place so it couldn't come loose, I stopped having those inconsistencies in the drive. Overall, the robot performed quite well and uh, definitely exceeded my expectations. All the panels that got bent are definitely repairable and... Uh, this is only one of two problems that I had. The other problem was of my own creating, and I'll go into that a little bit later. Once we get buttoned up here, it'll be time for our next match, which is against Catalpa. Now, Catalpa is a vertical egg beater design, and it spins very, very fast. And right off the bat, we collide, both go up on edge, and uh, both come back down. And it appears that hit took out his drive, so... He's got one side of the drive working and the other side uh, is dead. But he's still quite dangerous. So when we dance around, I'm trying to either take out his weapon or his other side of his drive without going in the pit. And every time I hit him, I fly towards the pit. And then I go right up against the pit and into it. But unlike every other time I've put a wheel over the edge of the pit, I didn't go in and this is pretty much dumb luck but uh, I'll take it and at some point in the last couple hits I managed to take out a spinner and uh, now he basically just has one wheel and I'm trying to get it but I'm also terrified of hockey pucking into the pit and so with that the clock runs out and they declare Vector the winner. So my next match is against Siege Engine. Siege Engine is a egg beater design, uh, but unlike the other one, this one has titanium sides, which let out brilliant white sparks. It also has PLA wheel guards, which look quite tasty, and I'm hoping I can uh, chop one off. Uh, he gets a hit in there, but it flips him over and not me. Um, and there we go, I got a wheel guard. I'm happy, my life is complete. But I'm having some problem with my drive now, and I've experienced this before, and it's totally my fault. And what happened is I didn't lock tight the screws on the gear motors, and they're backing out. And so, luckily I managed to get in a really big hit, and there you could see it freed up. I'm like, well, if they're not going to tap out, I need to make this quick, and they tap out, thankfully. And sure enough, it's exactly what I thought it was. The uh, gearboxes have worked loose in the motors. And rather than uh, take it all apart and just tighten them up again, I decided I would just swap out both drive units because uh, both of them were loose. As you can see, it's quite a simple process. It's literally six screws and uh, just swapping the two motors over. And now it's time for the match that everyone's been looking forward to. Phantom 2 versus Vector. So I think I'm going to let Ricky go ahead and uh, talk about this one for a second, and uh, then I'll chime in with my remarks, and then I'll just let you guys watch the match, because this is definitely a brutal one. All right, so we've got two heavy-hitting horizontal spinners on this next fight here with Vector and Phantom 2. It's going to be a pretty interesting match. Last match, Phantom 2 lost uh, a lo his, his top screws that are holding that weapon on uh, it's uh, double system and it's still somehow backed out so uh, let's hope that it could stay on this time around we'll see what happens I'm not sure uh, height wise and uh, length wise I think overall on the bar I think Phantom 2 might have it but I believe that Vector has more exposed of his blades so 
I'm not really sure who's going to get the hit first. I think Vector is low enough, though, that uh, that he can hit those wedgelets first. But the issue is, is that is Phantom too high to hit that pulley, or is he going to hit the uh, the frame, or is he going to be too high in general? So anxious to see what happens here on this uh, next beat weight combat coming up here in just a second. So make sure uh, to get ready to clip because this could be a huge hit. So Ricky hit the uh, the proverbial nail on the head right there. Uh, both Nick and I uh, compared our robots right before the match, and his blade lines up with the top of my frame and the weapon pulley. So I decided to run upside down. But either way, this is just going to be an absolute slugfest. So uh, enjoy. In three, two, one, go. All right, both horizontal bars up to speed. And slowly creeping. Oh, big hit. Looks like they're both fine, though. Weapon motor is still spinning. Spark and spark. Signing. Oh, another big hit there. And it looks like, again, still spinning on both, yeah. Trap door is opening right now. Another big hit there. Lamps and off. Sparks. Parts flying all around the arena. Big hit. Shaving down the wheels, it looks like. spinning up now, but, oh, he's still got it. Ooh, another big hit. Ooh, I was bumped him a little close to the trap door there. Jeez. Ah. <laughs> he can hold him for 10 seconds, then he has to back away. Back away, he's free. Looks like Vector's blade's still spinning. Oh, flew across the arena there. Oh, it looks like a lid has come loose on Phantom. Under 20 seconds remaining. Ooh, big sparks there again. 10. And we're down to 5, 4, 3, 2, one, that's it. Fight is over. Wow, so uh, what a match. Ultimately, they chose Vector as the winner. Um, I think mostly because I peeled his battery cover off at the last second. Um, that was definitely, I do not uh, envy their jobs as Song judges because that could have easily Song won either way. Features uh, a vertical Phantom 2 has design. some crazy pushing and power. Has a large horizontal spinning so uh, Both anyways, ready, I so we get to fight against Kong next, in which is three. a... Uh, two, vertical egg beater one. design. Fight robots, fight! And uh, oh, right off the get go, speed. they were having some uh, wheel problems and a big hit the there. prior to the match. But uh, they're still Kong very, very dangerous. Hit. So I'm Holding trying so to see Not if I can get that damage, weapon to stop spinning. A lot of drive out of Kong. But I, I luck out and I put him right next to the pit, and it's like, well, I may as well just Kong's let the pit open and take care of him. So I, I drive forward just to make sure that they can't uh, escape if they you know, suddenly work. And uh, in the they go. Match, your winner is Vector. So that was a, a nice and easy match for me, which is uh, pretty much only because their drive was going bad. And here we go again. Chunky Monkey. 
So this is it. I've clawed my way out of the loser's bracket, and this is the uh, quarterfinals. So I'm definitely looking for revenge. And there goes every chance I had of it. Uh, so I made a big mistake. And what that was is during my fight with Phantom 2, he nicked my weapon pulley. And I was worried that it would cause problems, and so I replaced it. And I accidentally put my weapon assembly in upside down, which caused my belt to be running at an angle instead of straight. And miraculously, during my last match, it didn't cause any problems. But, unfortunately, it caused a problem for this match. And so, my only thing that I can do is to bait him in the pit, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't work for me. And just like that, Vector takes third place in the Central Illinois Robotics Club Beetleweight Division. Overall, I'd say that's not too bad for a first outing. I do have some improvements I'd like to make, and ultimately, I think I'm going to offer it as a kit. So, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over all the damage that Vector took, and I'm going to repair it. So, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.